Hello everyone. Today we are back with another video on X-Linked and Y-Linked Inheritance. So let's get started. So although the anatomical and physical differences between women and men are numerous, the chromosomal basis for determining sex is rather simple. A clear picture of the genetic basis of sex determination emerged after the discovery of sex chromosome. Now, let's discuss genetic identification of sex phenotypes. Most of the animals and plants have a genetic difference in male and female individuals, which is reflected in their particular array or arrangement of chromosomes called as karyotype. Let's see this difference and identify the male and female individuals in Drosophila and human. Let's discuss the chromosomes in Drosophila. There are four pairs, means total eight chromosomes in Drosophila. Three pairs of chromosomes are identical in female and male which are called autosomes. The fourth pair of chromosome is different in male and the female and determines genders and are called sex chromosomes. In females both the sex chromosomes are identical so these are called XX chromosomes. In males one is rod shaped and is like the sex chromosome of the female. So it is also called X chromosome, while the other chromosome is hooked shape, and it is called Y chromosome. Now let's discuss chromosomes in man. In humans there are 23 pairs of chromosomes, 22 pairs of which are autosomes, while one pair is sex chromosome. In female it is XX and XY in males. Human females have two copies of the X chromosome. All egg cells produced by a woman contain one X chromosome. In males half of the sperms contain a X chromosome and half contain Y chromosome. The sex chromosome carried by the sperms is therefore determines the gender of the child. Let's understand this. All egg cells produced by a woman contain one X chromosome. If a sperm carrying X chromosome fertilizes the egg, the child will be a girl. But if a sperm carrying a Y chromosome fertilizes the egg, the child will be a boy. Embryo screening checks an embryo to see if it's carrying any alleles for a genetic disease. A number of techniques are now available to test for chromosomal and gene mutations in human foetuses. One of them is amniocentesis. So before the start of the procedure, a local anesthetic can be given to the mother. A needle is usually inserted through the mother's abdominal wall, then through the wall of the uterus, and finally into the amniotic sac. With the aid of ultrasound guidance, a physician punctures the sac in an area away from the foetus and extracts approximately 20 milliliters of amniotic fluid. After the amniotic fluid is extracted, the fetal cells are separated from the sample. The cells are grown in a culture medium, then fixed and stained. Under a microscope, the chromosomes are examined for abnormalities. For example, Down syndrome. Now let's discuss the patterns of sex determination. There is a wide variety of sex determining mechanisms, but three patterns are more common. These are XOAXX type. X nullo XX and WZZZ type. 
let's discuss XY XS type. This pattern of sex determination is found in Drosophila, man, and many other organisms. Male is XY and female is XAX. Male being heterogametic produces two types of sex determining sperms. Half of the sperms carry X chromosome and the other half carry Y. Chances for both types of sperms are equal. Female being homogametic produces only one type of eggs, each with an X chromosome. Sex of the offspring is determined by the type of sperm. If an X carrying sperm fertilizes the egg, the zygote will be XX, and a female offspring is produced. If a Y carrying sperm fertilizes the egg, the zygote will be XI, and a male offspring will be produced. The sex ratio between male and female offspring is 1 ratio 1. Sex ratio indicates chances of the sex of the offspring. Chances for a son or daughter in human birth are equal. Now let's discuss X. Nullo XX type. This pattern of sex determination is found in Grasshopper and Prutner Bug. Male is X nullo because it has only one X chromosome. The other sex chromosome is missing entirely. Male is heterogametic because it forms two types of sperms. Half of the sperms have X without any sex chromosome. A gamete without any sex chromosome is called nologamete. Female is XX because it has two X chromosomes. It is homogametic as it forms only one type of eggs. Every egg carries an X chromosome. Sex of the offspring depends on the kind of sperm. That fertilizes the egg. If an X carrying sperm fertilizes the egg, an X in X female offspring is produced. If the nullo sperm fertilizes the egg, an X nullo male offspring is produced. Sex ratio between male and female offspring is 1. Ration 1. Now, let's discuss the WZ. ZZ type. This type of sex determination pattern is common in birds, butterflies, and moths. It is the reverse of XI, X at X system. Here the female is heterogametic, XI, but the male is homogametic, XX. Female produces two kinds of eggs, W and Z, in equal proportions. All sperms are alike, each carrying Z chromosome. It is the kind of egg that determines the sex of offspring. When Z carrying egg is fertilized by the sperm, a male offspring is produced. But when a W carrying egg is fertilized by the sperm, a female offspring is produced. Sex ratio is 1 ratio 1. Moving forward, Investigators have found that the Y chromosome has SRY genes called as sex determining region Y gene. When this region in gene is lacking from Y chromosome, the individual is female even through the chromosomal inheritance is XY. This gene is Y linked because it is found only on the Y chromosome. Now let's discuss. Comparison of sex determination in Drosophila and humans. Although both Drosophila and humans follow the same. X, 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 Y. Sex determining pattern. For triggering the development of malignance in humans, absence of Y chromosome simply leads Yet there is a difference between the two. Presence of SRY 
Genon Y chromosome is essential to the female development path. Exnolo is Turner's syndrome in humans produced through non-disjunction is a sterile female, but in Drosophila, Exnolo is a sterile male. Similarly, XXY individual produced through non-disjunction gametes in humans is a sterile male called Kleinfelter syndrome. But the same XXY set of chromosomes in Drosophila produces a fertile female. This was all about pattern of sex determination. In our next video, we will talk about the sex linkage. Watch our medical videos anytime and anywhere. Download Scotia.com app now.